Um, so now, let's say I want to um, extract some of the feature into different module. Um, I create a diagram there. So um, for the the um, the diagrams, yeah, um, the diagram, yeah, yeah, here. So this is what we have at the moment, right? So we probably cannot like, extract them into um, a separate module because they like um, we need to some 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 sort of inverse dependencies so that we can extract some of them into a separate module because now they like um, have a dependency on on each other. The the one that on top depend on the lower and the lower depend on the lower and there's no um, no way to separate them into a different model. So that's why I have another page item list. You see here on the the uh, the page item list page on the uh, at the bottom. The diagram. At the bottom. Yeah, at the bottom, the page one and and item list. I mean, there's different page, not here. Uh, oh, oh, no, at, sorry. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> So this is uh, the diagram that I want to like move uh, inversion dependency and move the um, sum of feature into a different model, like have a catalog, for example. Then I can um, move this together with some yes, and and those things into also into a different model, and then in the app module we compose those module modules so my um my target is to create um a mini app which is one feature so basically what we need to create for example just the list not the favorite list not the cut not the order list just the item list uh, from these modules from the catalog yes so let's say you want all those types here to be in a separate module right um yes now this cannot be in the same module because it depends on the shared component right yes before that implementation it's, uh, but but now if i reverse dependency on onto the like uh, you know, the three, three blocks there, uh, catalog service and catalog network service, then I can extract those three pieces into a different module, into a separate module, because we have now all the arrows pointing to these three uh, blocks, right? So the other depend on it, then I can extract it. The same for the catalog and catalog VM service, the top two blocks, I can also like extract them into different module. Yeah, just need to be careful because otherwise you may end up with hundreds of modules. And maybe that's not <laughs> what you want yeah. because that's, yeah. that will increase. Sometimes you want that. In big applications, yeah. you may want that. But the more modules you add, you increase the cost of maintenance of your application, right? There'll be many, 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 many modules. Um, usually, so maybe for... an easy way for you to start is to slice it vertically, like every feature in a separate module. It's like this yes. is a vertical yes. slicing, right? There's that's horizontal what, slicing yeah. and vertical slicing per feature. Yeah, that's what I want. So let's say in my app, I have like four tabs. So each tab is one screen. So I want to separate each tab into one module. Yeah. So. Everything that is green can be in one module. This cannot. Yeah, this should be in the. But this doesn't depend on anything module. outside here. Where is the item model? Uh, I mean, this is the model that we list all of the products in the list. Okay. So, okay. And then. All of this doesn't depend on anything else. It can go in a standalone module on its own. All those green yes. Yes. boxes here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now this user manager here could also go in a separate one. Yes. This could Same be another module. 
Yes. This could be another module. Yeah. And the network servers can also be a different module, right? Yes. Yes. And the thing is, if I want to have the module with um, the product list, then I need to compose first the the catalog and the the items, uh, you know, the two the two block on on top, the two block on top. This is one module, the two blocks on top, right, on top, and then the catalog service, and then the favorite um, so a manager, and then the card manager. That means I need to compose four modules into uh, one feature module, I would say. Let's think about here. So ideally, those all depend on the network service. Mm -hmm. So they either mm -hmm. go in the same module as the network service mm -hmm. or in a separate one. But usually together, because they have the same dependency here. If you want to keep the network service independent, because maybe you want to reuse the network service in another application, otherwise you yes. keep them all together in one network service, right? But then this network service will depend on all the features. Yeah. Okay. And this catalog VM service depends on the favorites manager and the cart manager. So it seems to me like you wouldn't want this in a different module. Another solution is also keep them in the same module. Let me see if there's another color here. Yeah, terrible. Well, let's say red color. One way is to keep them together because there's this strong dependency, right? So if you want inverse of control, you would instead of having these protocols here in different modules, you want who owns the protocols? Yeah. Let's ask this question. Yes. So who it should be. Protocols? Mm -hmm. Exactly, because otherwise it will be the managers, right? But the abstraction is on the server in the, on the VM service. It's the VM service that you don't that you want not to know who implements those. Mm -hmm. So this is inversion of control. Now this is all standalone because you want the per like the client owns the protocol. Yeah. Whoever needs to use the protocol owns the protocol. If you move that yes. to another module, along with the implementation, you are coupling the client with the implementation because it needs to depend on the implementation module. So inversion of control is saying, no, I'm going to invert that. That's it. Yes. Make sense? Mm -hmm. Oops, there are two eyes in here. Yeah, and here, the other here. Mm. So the favorite manager will implement this protocol. Yeah. And the cart manager will implement this protocol. Now, this is always standalone again. Yeah. You can go in a separate module. But now I can say, but I don't want the favorite manager depending on if this. <laughs> then you can create an adapter in the composition route. Because yes. what, usually, so who is the client of this protocol? The VM service. If you want this to be decoupled, the client should live with its dependencies protocol in the same module. If you move this protocol to another module, you are coupling mm -hmm. the client with the, the other module. But if you define the interface as it needs, and here it should be exactly the interface the VM service needs, no more, no less. The implementation can have 100 methods, but if the VM service calls only one, it should only define one here. Hmm. 
This is how you keep them separate. The same thing for the cart manager. You can implement 100 methods in the implementation. Doesn't matter. You won't expose what the VM service needs. And you hide all the implementation details. And this is inversion of control, inversion of dependency inversion. Instead of the catalog, depending on the favorites manager module, you define the protocols in the same module where the VM service is. The client owns the interface it needs. Mm -hmm. Now the implementation depends on this module now. And if you say, no, I don't want the implementation depending on this module, you will create an adapter. Look, you don't want the VM service depending on this module, and you don't want this module depending on the VM service. So you need someone in between bridging this communication. Exactly. Get a tiny adapter mm -hmm. that will implement the protocol and delegate the messages to the adapter. And where will this adapter live? This adapter will live in the composition route, in the most concrete in the app module. Mm -hmm. That's correct. Because it's app specific. Yeah. It could be one adapter, it could be two adapters. Whatever makes sense. Yeah. Maybe it makes sense to keep them both in the same class, or you create two separate classes, one for each. Yeah. But that's a, in the application module. It's the most concrete module. There you're free. You import both modules in the application module and you delegate the messages. This way, the favorite manage doesn't depend on the VM service and the VM service doesn't depend on the favorite manage implementation. Exactly, because you would have to actually type import catalog module, right? In the favorite manager or the cart manager. You know, the pink and the blue would have to depend on the green and that translates into actually, you know, importing the module. Mm -hmm. That makes no sense. Maybe, I don't know. Yeah. It could make no sense. That's why the adapter is so helpful there. Mm -hmm. So this is something to keep in mind. Where does the protocol yeah. live? Because if the protocol lives in the same module as the implementation, it's not serving as much of an abstraction. Yeah. Because you still couple the client with the module where the implementation is. Right, and then you cannot move them independently. So mm -hmm. usually you define the protocol in the same module Correct. as the client is. Yeah. Because another solution is to create another module just for the protocol. <laughs> mm -hmm. But I prefer to keep the protocols close to the client and the implementations in other modules. And if I want to decouple the implementation from that protocol, I create a tiny adapter. Mm -hmm. And this adapter lives in the application module. Yeah, makes sense. And those are frameworks or packages, right? This can be a Swift package. Yes. It's not an application. Yes. But you can have a standalone application, as you said, that only associates this catalog feature for testing purposes. You can run this feature standalone in a mm -hmm. separate application with UI, backend, and everything. That's yes. Awesome. Literally, what will you instantiate for the first tab, you know, in your big application? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just... That's my goal. Exactly. <laughs> yes. You make it much easier to test and develop these features in isolation. Yeah. This is like um, an app with uh, many mini apps inside. That, that's it. Sounds good. Yeah. And then you have the standalone modules. And then you can reuse the favorite service or the cart service in different applications as well, with completely different UI, completely different everything else. Mm -hmm. You can reuse this cart manager on the watchOS application that, or in an extension, or in a, how's it called? Clip? <laughs> clips. <laughs> App clips. App clips, yeah. App right we can reuse code much easily 